I felt validated and affirmed. I was kind of like, ugh, finally. Honestly, I do about the same amount of makeup for an award show or a special night as I would do for my goats at home. So it's pretty consistent. Mm, you know, less is more. I feel very beautiful uh, when I uh, look at the world around me and remember that I'm a part of this one living organism coming from a single cell to be the uh, supposedly separate beings that we now are. And I remember uh, that we are collectively so beautiful, so freaking beautiful, you can't even believe it. And it overwhelms me and then I cry and I ugly cry, but I feel beautiful while I ugly cry. Hmm. Wow. What a deep, fascinating question. I mean, first of all, if I was directing something, um, I would take more time in a, uh, in a sort of creative incubation state. Um, I would process it for a longer amount of time. I would think about it more thoroughly than just answering this question right now. Um, that's the type of director I would seek and hope to be, one who prepares and really thinks about things thoroughly. Um, but just kind of, I mean, just rolling with it. I think I would love to do a campaign that featured a lot of the um, queer and trans people of color who actually define um, fashion and makeup. That's what I really want to see. I want to see these campaigns be populated by the people who actually give us these uh, styles and flavors in the world. Um, so my, my deepest desire and goal um, is to see these people who have informed fashion itself for so long, who have informed the standards within makeup and beauty for so long, uh, be brought to the forefront of uh, the ways in which it's uh, proliferated and profited off of. Um, and then I would also probably get like some sea tortoises and put them in lipstick and um, get like some lemurs and do like a shadowy eye on a lemur. That's the end of my answer. Got excited, got sexually aroused, have to move on.